Hey guys, we're here doing the Greenville housing market recap for 2019, the whole year. So we're gonna be looking at uh, 2019 compared to 2017 and 2018 to get some comparison. So let's jump into it. All right, so first of all, the number of houses listed and sold have gone up each year. It's around 10.5% on average uh, from 2017 to 2019, uh, which is a big jump. So a lot of you, uh, if you were looking for a house, you might have had a hard time finding the right one, or maybe you didn't find the right one, so you kind of just gave up. But that's getting alleviated just because there are more houses coming on the market, so you have some more options, so it's not as much of a frenzy out there, which really is great for everybody. It takes the pressure off. And the second thing is that the average appreciation rate is very healthy. Each year, it's around 5.8%, which is a good appreciation rate if you're thinking about selling soon or you're buying right now. So your investment's going to keep going up each year. And then the third thing throughout all of 2019, looking at Greenville County, the average sales price was 274,000. A couple of specific areas to focus on. Malden had the lowest sales price with 199, which is good um, if you're looking more on a budget. And then the uh, highest sales price was actually Traveler's Rest. Traveler's Rest only had 280 houses sold in 2019. So I think it's just the uh, lack of inventory makes the ones that are there uh, more in high demand. So uh, that is your whole 2019 market recap. There's a lot more specifics for your neighborhood or your area. So if you want any more info, feel free to give me a call and uh, we can get that info for you. Thanks.